Hello, Cougar Nation, and welcome back to Men's Soccer Coaches Weekly for Concordia Chicago. I'm Jonathan Shearer with the Cougar Sports Network, and joining me once again is head coach of that soccer team, Brad Callahan. Thanks for having me, Jonathan. And Coach Callahan, it's been a while since we've last talked. It's been about a week and a half. And in that past week and a half, the story of this team in the conference season has changed quite a bit because not only did this team pick up their first NAC win in the past few years, they picked up their second as well. They've gone two and one in the past week, scored a goal in every match, and their only loss was a 4-2 road loss to St. Norbert's. So looking at this week as a whole, the offense is scoring again. You picked up two wins. What's been the biggest shift? in this team's play that's gotten them to where you were hoping they would be at the start of conference? Um, I think we've just finished opportunities. To be honest, I don't think the two games we won were all that different than numerous games we lost. Um, I think we just finished some opportunities. And to be honest, we should have probably finished even more opportunities in those games. Um, I think that just the biggest thing is, is just taking advantage of opportunities, playing smart. Um, it's just been, you know, some of the games we've lost, we've had more possession, more chances. Mm -hmm and we just failed to finish. So I think that's just one of the, the biggest points. Um, and then I think defensive organization has gotten a little bit better. That's something we're still working on, especially in transition. Um, and just, I think, making smart decisions with the ball, knowing mm -hmm. uh, you know, what to do in a given situation, playing quick as opposed to frantic. And um, you know, if you have time, not playing to a man that's marked. And I think on the opposite side of that, sometimes we're dribbling too much. So I think just sometimes, you know, getting your head up, finding the open man, possessing the ball, because sometimes when we dribble too much, we get it ripped off our foot and they yep. transition on us. So those things are all looking a little bit better and still need to continue to improve. Absolutely. And, you know, you look at the offense as a whole this season, you've had your scoring coming from a lot of different places. You're led by Spencer Nicholson with three, but you have nine players on this roster who have scored at least one goal. So that depth is obviously a strength. But looking at the offense in general, who would you say has impressed you most with their performance, both with possession, with shot creation, and with finishing? I think Xavier has done real well, one of our freshmen. Um, he's done a real good job. He had a really nice goal mm -hmm. yesterday. Uh, I think he's a, a you know, quick technical player. Um, Ronaldo has, has created mm -hmm. some stuff for us, grad student. Garrett um, has created some stuff. Probably could have had a couple assists yesterday. Uh, I'm trying to think Omar has, has done real well. He had a real nice composed goal yesterday. His footwork is very sharp. Um, so I mean, I think a, a lot of guys, Elias, even as a right back, he had the goal mm -hmm. against IIT, real nice shot. So I think it's, um, it's a real team effort. Yeah. And you look at that team coming up to this weekend, your team's taking on Milwaukee school of engineering this Sunday for your senior day match at noon. This team is a team that has a lot of freshmen on it. You talked about one of them, Xavier Avila, being a major part of the team's offense this year. But you also mentioned a couple of seniors in there. And as you celebrate those seniors on Sunday, looking at this season, who amongst those seniors has really been the most important to the way this team's progressed through this year? Um, I don't know that I would pick one, to be <laughs> honest. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. You know, Julian Yanez does a good job as a center back for us and is important defensively organizing. And something I keep preaching to him is to be very vocal, yeah. um, organize the defense. Um, I think Garrett's done a good job creating opportunities. I'm hoping he can get a few more goals as a number nine, um, get a few more goals up there. But he's done a, a good job and continue to make runs off the ball. Um, and you mentioned Spencer earlier. Um, who else am I leaving out here? Um, I don't know. Gio Velasquez is, is injured, which is a bummer. Yep. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, I think, yeah, all, the, all those guys have, have contributed in different ways. Yes. And that's been, that veteran presence has been a big part. We've talked about this before, just helping this team really mesh with so many newcomers to the team. And on a season as a whole, your team has three wins. It's progressing very well throughout the season, coming into your second year as head coach. And you're now moving into the final stretch of that second season. Five games left in the conference season, starting that final stretch with this Sunday match against the MSOE. As you head into that final stretch, what is the main goal you have for your team as you finish out the season? 
I think we need to be very disciplined. I think we have a team that could, I don't, I, on any given day, beat anybody or lose to anybody. And so I think a lot of it is just the mindset they bring in. Um, you know, yesterday I talked to them with, at halftime about coming out like we were down two goals, and I still thought we came out a little bit flat. So I think just being very, very hungry, not satisfied. Mm -hmm. And then I think just being very disciplined. I think sometimes our guys are a little overly optimistic where I'll just see things like they'll try to dribble past a guy and there's a wide open pass. Mm -hmm. And then they'll get it ripped off their foot and then the team's transitioning back the other way. And so I think just being disciplined and understanding the level of play that we're at. Sometimes I think the young guys maybe got away with stuff in high school that they're learning they're not going to get away with now. And so it's kind of... It's a weird line between I don't ever want them to play timid or scared. I want them to play to the highest ability and have the greatest net impact they can make. But at the same time, there needs to be a higher priority on keeping the ball. Yeah. And so, I mean, the way I was as a player, I always put a very high priority on keeping the ball and thought the standard should be never losing the ball. But I don't want that to inhibit the impact they make on the game and the creativity. So it's kind of finding that right balance between the two. Absolutely. Well, Coach Callahan, thank you for joining us once again for this Coaches Weekly. And like we mentioned, Cougars soccer back in action this Sunday for Senior Day right here in River Forest, taking on the Milwaukee School of Engineering Raiders at 12 p.m. at Concordia Stadium. You'll be able to catch all of that action on the Cougar Sports Network and get caught up on everything you've missed from the past few weeks of Cougar soccer at cucougars.com. I'm Jonathan Shear with Cougar Sports Network. Thank you for joining us for another Cougars Soccer Coaches Weekly. And make sure to join us next time for more inside looks at this program.